In this video we'll be creating our library. We'll be copying the assets from the static version of the template, we'll be creating the libraries.yml file and we'll be including it into the info file. So if we jump to finder and if we go to the static version of the site, we want to copy all the files except the index.html file. So click copy and then under Aqua Dev Desktop, we want to go to local code. And this is the code of our Drupal instance. So we want to go to Teams, then Webshop, and paste our files. So these are the assets from the static version. Now they're in our custom team. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go to the code base of our team and create a new file and save and call it the name of our team webshop.libraries.yml click save so the first thing we want to declare is the name of our library so we'll call it web webshop style and we want to declare first CSS and the syntax is team and now our CSS files are under CSS and the first CSS file is called materialize CSS so we want to type CSS slash materialize and like this and the second file is so there's a minified version of the materialized CSS and there is also style CSS so I want to include also the style CSS we go like this CSS style CSS and we have our CSS files now so the next thing we want to do is we want to include also some JavaScript files. So we say JS and we directly include in this case. Uh, they reside under the JS folder. So we say again JS slash and we, we have again materialized JS, materialized JS and we have also a file called init.js great furthermore as dependency so we may declare here also dependencies dependencies we want to specify the core slash jquery as a dependency great so we save and as we now have our libraries we want to include them so we're including our newly created libraries in our info file like this by specifying libraries and minus the namespace in our case is the name of our team so webshop exactly and the name of our library like this so now we what we did is we specified the library under the name of our team.libraries.yml and we included our library. So let's go ahead and check how that looks like. If we go to our Drupal instance and we go to configuration and performance, all we have to do is clear the cache and our libraries should be basically included. If we go back to the front page, yes, that's quite visible 
so now we're sure that our library with all the files that we specified are being applied if you like this video please check the links in the description and subscribe